Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So um, today um, I'm gonna show you guys how you can connect your Visual Studio project with with a Microsoft Access database and, and it's really simple, it's not that complicated. So um, let's say you start with a basic Windows form of Visual Basic and you also need to have your database ready. So I have a, a sample file here the name of this is table one let's say you have a few information here so so um what we'll be doing is go over to da data source and if if you don't see this here then you can go over to view go to other windows and you'll find data sources here so i'm um, go over to data source and click on this add new data source option and then you come to this window from here you're going to select database and click on next and data set now if you have previously connected your the database with visual studio so it, they will like ask you if you want to do a new connection or use the ones that you've used before so i'm going to go with new connection and go to browse and click on database one and click on open right now you can test your connection see that everything is working see if it's all connected or not if, it, if this doesn't work if this fails then there are a few things that you can do in order to fix this the, the primary reason why this normally doesn't work is when you don't have uh, a, a few things installed with microsoft access which is access database in here so i'll link them in the description below since your your connection succeeds you can click on ok and then click on next and then click on next again this is the name of your connection string all right so now i'm going to select the things that you want to like import so i'm going to go with table one and views as well this is the name of your data set and then i'm going to click on finish all right, so now my database is connected with Visual Studio. Now I can use this on my forms and so every, everything everywhere else. The next thing that I'm going to do is add a few controls so that I can like edit my database. So I'm going to go with a label. data grid view and this is where your database or your table is gonna be viewed to enable it i guess you, you have to look for this arrow arrow here and then choose find choose data source and from here you're gonna select other data source you're not gonna select it you're gonna click on the small arrow here and then project data source sources and then go over all the all the way to table one once you have selected, you'll see that your database is gonna be shown here. So now we're gonna connect the text box with the columns here. So the first one is for the name. So once you click on the text box, you're gonna go over and look for something called data on the properties window. So we're gonna click on uh, click on the plus sign here on data bindings and then the text option and from here I'm gonna choose table one binding source and then click on name and you're gonna do the same for the other text boxes as well so for the date we're gonna go over and select date and then age for age all right so once you have done that now we're gonna add control so for adding once we're gonna add something called table one binding source dot add new and for the delete option we're gonna do table one binding source dot remove current and for the save option we're gonna first go over say that table one dot binding source 
dot n edit and then go for table one adapter dot update and then brackets in which we're gonna type in our data set which is data base one data set dot table one all right this should probably do it for all the basic stuff that you normally do you can add in more options so to make it a little more friendly so you can already see that the database is showing the have taken data from the database that I've made and whenever I click on a certain data it gets like shown on the text box here so alright so let's see if we're gonna add something new so I'm gonna click on add and then this name is gonna be something and the date and the age and I'm gonna click on save and when I click on save it gets stored onto the table here if I want to add again I can do like the same again click on save so if you want to delete something that I have done once you can click on delete and it goes away yeah so that is basically how you can do stuff with this alright so this might not be the most robust table database table but this is like something that you can start with you can like add in codes and stuff to make it a little more you know more or right, so now I'm, I'm gonna show you guys how you can add a chart to your visual studio database so if you have already connected your database with visual studio and you have all your table loaded and stuff and what you can do is add something called chart and if you can drag that in here so if you have all if you already have your database connected connected to visual studio this is gonna be very simple so what you is click on the chart which is chart one and then go over to data and data source you can easily choose data table one binding source here and now when you click on start you don't see anything because you haven't like mentioned the y axis and the x axis and all this stuff so go over to chart and then series now we click on that now i'm gonna choose the stuff from here now from here we're gonna select what the x value member is gonna be and let's see we're gonna go with name and then click on ok see what happens now now you can see that the chart is showing a few values according to the table here and you can ed make this chart like more to a, you can edit this chart as to different things by changing a lot of the stuff here you can like play around with this so thanks a lot for watching and leave a like if this video was helpful and I guess i'll see you guys again in the next video